All right, so we're back again and welcome back to my another tutorial video and today we'll be creating a very simple poster design as always in Photoshop. Just a quick note, this PSD file will be available for my Patreon supporter and again I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for showing their love and support on my channel and also if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet then please do subscribe my channel and with that note let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard so for that go to file click on new and I'll just go with 5x5 five five resolution to 300 color mode to RGB bitrate to 16 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create and then right after that let's drag and drop uh, this image right over here so I got this image from onspass.com so let's make it a little smaller Control G just like so maybe yep let's keep it maybe something maybe something like that all right and then so let's just drag and drop another image right over here and again let's do Control T let's make it a little smaller and you know what this is the same technique that I applied for one of my recent client project let's keep it like that and again let's make a one more copy Control J and let's keep this under this layer Control T and let's add some some rotation just like so and yep let's keep it like that and also let's drag and drop another image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom and control G let's keep it like that you know let's do some adjustment over here control mm, control G And for this one, let's add a little bit of rotation and let's add a little bit of perspective. Yep, let's keep it like that for now and then uh, let's add uh, some kind of detail so let's go over here create a new layer go to brush and let's add a little bit of shadow and then for that uh, let's uh, edit let's go to fill and let's fill it with 50% gray and let's right click create clipping max let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's do some burn tool so let's go over here and let's add some burn. So just like that. And then again, let's create a new layer. Edit, fill 50% gray, change it to soft light, right click, create clipping max and let's add some dodge right over here right and then again let's create a new layer go to edit go to fill and let's fill it to 50% gray let's change the blending mode to soft light and again let's do some dozen burn so let's start with touch All right, now let's go over here, create a new layer, go to brush. And again, let's add a little bit of depth in between, just like so. And maybe let's drop down the opacity just a little bit. Let's go to eraser tool and let's erase some of these parts right over here. So 
this is what we got and again let's erase some of these parts right over here All right, now let's do a little color adjustment. So go over here and go to filter. Let's go to camera draw filter. And from here, what I would like to do is let's increase the clarity. Let's increase the texture, drop down this. Let's increase the shadows and let's drop down the highlights. And again, from the detail tab, let's increase the noise reduction, just like so. And a little bit of color noise reduction too. Let's increase the sharpening. And again, let's increase the clarity some more and let's drop down the vibrance maybe somewhere around here looks good to me and let's click and maybe let's make it exposure just a little bit yep let's keep it like that and let's click on okay and let's do the same thing for these building layers so go over here filter let's go to camera raw filter and then let's uh, try to apply the previous setting and let's see how it looks and from here let's drop down the exposure just like so and maybe highlights all the way to the down and maybe increase the texture and maybe increase the clarity let's keep it like that and let's do the same thing for another building so let's go over here filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and maybe let's drop down the saddle just a little bit and let's click on ok so here we have and then let's add a color lot so let's go on very top go over here click on uh, color lookup and from here click on load and I'll just use this uh, flame emulsion uh, Kodak lot so go over here and click on load and then this lot is kind of too strong for me let's dial down the opacity maybe somewhere around here and let's add a curve on the bottom and let's do a little S curve yep something like that and let's go to the green channel and let's increase the green and highlights and let's let's keep it like that and let's go back to rgb again and let's drop down let's lift the saddle a little bit up let's keep it like that all right now let's add a text Now control T yep, just like so and then let's you know what like before that let's um, let's turn that visibility off and before that let's merge everything control shift alt and E so everything is merged and keep it on a new layer and let's uh, add a new solid under this layer so I'll just keep it kind of darker color for now maybe somewhere around here and let's keep it inside a group control G I'll call rename it as a image one and let's create a layer max go to brush let's fill it with black and go to brush and let's go for a, a powder powder explosion brush so let's see let's go for this one and let's get back those parts with this color and then again let's go for another brush let's go for this one okay. now let's make a copy of this layer control J let's turn off the visibility for now and let's go over here add a hue and saturation and let's drop down the saturation maybe somewhere around here yep now let's using the same brush maybe uh, let's go for a kind of different brush let's see let's yep let's go for this one and let's rebuild some of these parts or yep let's use this one and let's turn on the visibility for this layer and let's get back some of these parts okay let's see let's go for this one 
Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing some random uh, reveal. So yeah, just do whatever you like to do. All right. Now let's make a copy of this layer. So Control J and let's keep it all the way to the top. And again, from this layer, make let's make it and let's keep it inside a group. Create a layer max. Go to brush, and I will just go with the hard brush now. And let's is some of these parts. And maybe let's get back its fit. Let's go for a soft thrust. Yep. And let's get back those parts. And then again, let's go over here, go to brush, and let's reveal some of another parts, the bottom part. So let's see. Uh, 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 I will just go with. Uh, Yeah, let's go with this one. And maybe yep, let's add some more brushes so i'm just doing some random stuff so you can spend as much as time you want it and and get the uh, get a kind of look you're looking for let's add a text and let's change the text to kind of warmer color yep and let's keep this under this layer all right now let's add some more text And let's keep it a little bit up. And let's add it this glowing glow on very top. Yes, let's keep it all the way to the top. And let's change the blending mode to screen. Control T. So yep, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.